Hello, it's Sean again here at Life Raft and Survival Equipment. Uh, right here we have a Mustang with a AIS unit. So you'll notice it's connected here to the oral inflation valve. I have my retrofit sticker here. Here's my lanyard. There's a second lanyard right here. This lanyard is basically just anchored to the life jacket right here in case for whatever reason your AIS unit happens to fall off your oil inflation valve. You won't completely lose your AIS unit. It's tethered to you. Make sure you do put that on there when you install it in your life jacket. That way you do not lose it. The other lanyard is this one right here. Now this is the one that will actually be firing and operating the AIS unit when it inflates. So what I'm doing here is now that I have it set, I tried to line this up as much as I could to this here. That way it's a straight pull. Now you're going to be shortening that lanyard as this fold comes over. I'll show you that in a second. So first things first, I have it here, bringing this over and I'm taking my lanyard. Now there's a way to loop it through. It's on the manual here. So make sure you read that. And if, again, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call and we can walk you through it. Shortening that all the way as much as I can. So now, as you can see, I am right up against that AIS unit. That way, when it does inflate, it's going to pull this eye off. And remember, this armed plate, do not take it off, leave it on the AIS unit. It's gonna stop, while your jacket's moving around, while you're wearing it, it's gonna stop this eye from wiggling off and activating your AIS unit while it's in the jacket, which you really don't want that to happen at all because then you'd be killing your battery. So that plate stays on to protect it from activating when you don't want it to, but it will pop the plate off when we activate it. So at this point right here, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. I'm gonna bring it here. I'm gonna attach there. Now this is the point to where I would go ahead and start to close the life jacket. But for testing sake and to get a visual representation of what you're going to see. So now I have anchored that in there. The arm plate is on. The lanyard was shortened as I was closing the life jacket. So I'm going to go ahead and take my air inflator here. And I'm going to go find the cap top here. And I'm going to start putting air in this life jacket. And what we should see is we should see it break away from its Velcro here start to inflate, pull the eye off the AIS and activate it and you should see the antenna pop out if all is correct. So let's try that right now. Okay, it broke out of its Velcro. It's starting to inflate. It's pulling on the eye. And there we go. And as you can see, it ejected that armed plate right off it. Here's my arm plate, flew over there, see? Leave the arm plate on there, it will deploy. So now, the lanyard did correctly, everything was right. And that's how you put an AIS in a Mustang and make it work properly. Let's go ahead and undo this. Turn that off. Get that, stop going. And I hope that helps. Mustang, AIS.